Hello everyone. We're continuing our spectacular season with a concert that has a very deep and special meaning. Violins of Hope is a project which has been gaining enormous momentum around the world in recent years. It's very much the brainchild of Israeli violin maker Amnon Weinstein, and I'm thrilled that our Reading community is to be its latest destination. So what's it all about? Well, violins and other string instruments that have survived the Holocaust have been restored and brought back to playing condition by Amnon and his son Avshi. Essentially, these were the everyday instruments of life for the Jewish community and were used for all sorts of music making from weddings, kletzma concerts and domestic fun as well. For part of the concert, the musicians of the Reading Symphony Orchestra will actually be performing on some of these instruments. And what about the music? Well, in the first half, we'll be playing the beautiful Hebraic prayer Kornidre by Max Brook. Written in 1880, Brook was actually living in Liverpool at the time and wrote it for his friend, the cellist Robert Hausmann. Our soloist on this occasion is one half of a celebrated musical husband and wife team, Amanda Forsyth. And as for the other half, well, one of the all-time greats of the violin playing world, Pinkas Zuckerman, will be performing another much-loved work by Max Brook, his violin concerto number no. one in G minor. I've actually had the pleasure of conducting Pincus in this gorgeous work before, and I'm so looking forward to being on stage with one of the richest, most sumptuous violin sounds I've ever heard. And then, to cap it all off, we have the monumental Symphony No. 1 by the great Gustav Mahler. Written just a few years after the Cornidre in 1887 and 1888, Mahler pulled no punches when it came to expanding both the size of the orchestra used and the expressive depths he implored his musicians to go to. Originally, there were five movements, but as Mahler was wont to do, he was constantly tinkering with the work over the years, and today we perform it in its final four-movement form. You'll hear all sorts of references to country life and folk music, as well as Kletzma and even the children's song Ferreira Jacques. In addition to the concerts, you'll have the opportunity to learn so much more of the stories of these instruments and their previous owners through exhibitions and other presentations. Just visit readingsymphony.org to learn more. It's a concert not to miss, folks. A very special event for all of Reading. I'll see you at the symphony. <laughs>